uh, welcome back to another video. This is a very different video, but I thought it would be a good video to make. So I thought I'd talk about my best piece of advice for people who are wanting to or planning on applying to med school uh, to help you guys get through your admissions process swimmingly. Uh, and to uh, just, as someone who's been through the process, give you my best piece of advice um, of what I would have done differently maybe and what went well and what works. Um, so without further ado, we'll start with the first uh, kind of topic we're going to talk about with regards to uh, your application process. So the first thing I want to talk about is sacrifice. I read a quote um, quite a while ago <laughs> and it went something along the lines of most people fail the test of life because they are copying other people's answer sheets without realizing they have a different question paper. And the reason I'm bringing this quote up now is because when you're applying to medicine, the chances are the majority of your friends are probably gonna be applying for different university degrees and going off to do different things. You know, not everyone's gonna be doing the same thing. Like I said, not everyone has the same question paper. Everyone's gonna be applying for different things. And so there will be times where maybe you want to hang out with them, you know, they're planning a social or a get together. And there are going to be times where you just have to say no, you know, you have to sacrifice that fun event for what you want in the long term, which is getting into medicine. So for example, with your UCAT and BMAT exams, these are really important because if you don't score highly enough, you're probably not likely to get an interview at um, the uni that you're applying to. And it's a blunt truth, but that's the truth. You have to score highly so that you can get an interview. And that's kind of the first stage of your medical application is getting a good BMAT or UCAT score. And so there are gonna be plenty of times where you're gonna to have to sacrifice extra time because you don't have, it's not like your A-levels where you have lessons, you know, chemistry, biology, maths, economics, you don't have lesson time planned for your UCAT and BMAT exams. So you're gonna to have to go out of your own way, make time for it in your schedule, and then prepare for them. And that might have to be when you wanna hang out with your friends, like I said earlier. And so there are gonna be times where you have to sacrifice having fun. And I know it's tough, no one wants to do it, but at the end of the day, that is how the world works, you know? Nothing comes easily. You're gonna to have to put aside time, put aside effort, and work towards it. So that's my first piece of advice, is just don't fall into the trap of not putting aside time for your top priorities, because people you know don't have to. Um, it sounds blunt, but it's the truth. Like I said, not everyone's gonna be on the same path. And so you have to do what's best for you. You know, if your friends are hanging out, but you have to revise for your UCAT or BMAT exams, then that's what you have to do. And it will work out in the long run because in the long run, you know, hopefully you'll get a good BMAT UCAT score, get interviews and then be able to um, get the offers. Uh, and go to study medicine. <laughs> so that's the first one. Don't be afraid to make sacrifice. You're gonna have to do it. You're gonna have to put aside time to focus on your application. If you have a big goal, for example, getting into medicine, if you just break it down into multiple different steps, UCAT, BMAT, interviews, grades, bam. It makes it a lot more it makes it easier to work for and to keep your motivation up whilst also not being overwhelmed because you think, okay, I've just got to get this step done, it'll go well, and then I'll move on to the next one. And it's kind of in a way, it makes it feel like you're in a game, uh, like you keep, you're constantly leveling up, you pass level one, level two, level three, level four, and then you win the game and get into med school. So <laughs> it may sound obvious, but it's just something I wanted to mention is just, just in your head so you don't get overwhelmed, stress, just break it down into different steps. It just makes it a lot easier because you're not thinking about the other stuff. You're not worrying about it. You're just solely thinking about the step you're on. And once you break it down, it becomes a lot easier as well. Um, you just in your head, it, it, it becomes so much more attainable because you just have to do these different steps and then you're in. But I know it sounds obvious, but I thought it's just important to mention because I think it can just make it a whole lot easier um, and less overwhelming if you just think it down and break it down into steps. A big thing I wanna talk about is 
don't compare yourself to others. Um, comparing yourself to others is always a recipe for feeling upset, sad and disheartened because everybody has a different route into medicine. And if you don't get in first time, that's absolutely fine. You know, it's normal to feel disheartened. Uh, try, I would say try again, reapply, focus on, think about maybe what went wrong and then, you know, focus on that and make it just your main priority to just work really hard and try and get in. And the thing is, you know, comparison is the thief of joy. Like I said earlier, everyone has a different question paper. And so if you start comparing yourself to other people, like, oh, this guy got in first time, this, oh, this guy took, you know, only one gap year, you know, I hear I'm on my second gap year. It doesn't matter. Everyone has a different route in life. I, I, it sounds cheesy, but it's true. Everyone has a different route in life. Everyone's going to have a different way of getting to the end goal in this case of being, you know, being a doctor. And so when you start comparing yourself to others, that's when you set yourself up for, for sadness. So it's important to just, you know, try and not compare yourself with others because everyone has a different route. You know, everyone has a different way of getting to, from A to B. Um, and yours is probably gonna be the route that's best for you. You know, let's say you don't get in first time, you might take a gap year and that might be one of the best years of your life. You might learn so many new things, have new experiences and it, it, it might have been so much better for you as a person to develop and grow as opposed to if you went straight into uni. So never compare yourself to others because, you know, everything is going to happen for a reason and um, if you do start comparing, you'll only end up, um, you know, unhappy. My last piece of advice is, it's kind of a given, but it's the most important. At the end of the day, you just have to put in the hours, put in the work and you'll be fine. <laughs> if you truly give your best effort and try as hard as you can, you know, you give it a hundred percent, the chances are you're going to be successful. Um, if you kind of half-heartedly go about your application, there's a very big chance you won't be successful. You have to just work hard. When it comes to a UCAT exam, put aside a lot of hours, you know, the website that I used to prepare for UCAT was Medify. It was really good. I had a bunch of mock tests, practice questions. Uh, everything you need just put in the hours and you'll realistically you're gonna be okay even when it comes to interviews do interview practice with your friends your parents your teachers whoever it is just do practice I'll put a picture of the book which I use for interview practice on the screen here this is a really good book just read through it um, I used to just put aside time to literally just read through the questions read through the model answers see you, know, you can see how they structure it you can see how they go about linking it to examples of their own and then from that you can use that in your own practice for interviews and then if you get an offer just put in the hours put in the work revise for your subject so you get the grades requirements and you can go to med school <laughs> i mean if you truly give a hundred percent uh of your effort give everything you go into it make it your top priority and when i say top priority i mean i don't mean you have to neglect everything else like your studies for your actual A-levels or you know, going to the gym, that kind of stuff. You can still do all of them, but make it your top focus um, because you don't want to have to, you know, go through the whole process again. So that is it for this video. Uh, like I said, it was very different. I'm not used to just sitting, talking in front of the camera like this, and I don't think I'm very good at it yet, yet. Uh, <laughs> but hopefully I'll get better. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful for anyone applying or think about applying. Um, and if you are applying, then good luck. And I hope you get in. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video and take care. Goodbye.